Sometimes two ordinary things combine to create such a sensation that people say, I gotta try that at home. Here's the video from September 2005 that became an internet sensation and changed forever the way people think about Mentos and Diet Coke. This is really good, all right? Okay. So, so here's the setup. Mentos, and Mentos. the reason we choose Mentos is because they have this chalky-like quality to them. Right. What we want is That's we want... That's coating yep. on the outside. Yep, and we're just gonna put them into the test tube, so they go down to the test tube like this, so there's your test tube. Got it? Okay. 13 Mentos, just in case you're counting. All right, so oh, there good. it is. Some people right. probably are. Right, so now let me open this up here, and yours, you can open yours up as well, all right? Okay. So, and we're just using diet, just because it's less sticky when it finally, there's a disaster. Oh, when there is a <sighs> All right, okay. so now, now here's what's going to happen. We put the card on, we turn the whole thing upside down, we're going to put it over the top, we're going to okay. position it so it's right over the top. You got it? So right there on okay. the edge. Okay. All right. Now when we pull it out, those are going to fall real fast and when they do, all of the bubbles that are inside are going to rush to them and we might see a little eruption. Yay! Are you ready? Here, all right, so go. we're going to go three, two, one, pull. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, pull. Good. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Is that, tell me that that's not okay, awesome. Is that, that's okay, awesome. Okay, no, no, so sorry. That's okay. Look, Look at you. You are. Well, it tastes kind of good. It wasn't that fun. Yeah, it was fun. That's the best <laughs> I have ever seen, isn't it? Well, I understand. Uh, I, 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 I know. That's why. But it was, are you good? Are you, all I'm right. So, fine. Ask, uh, so just ask him. Is it better for diet or regular? Go ahead and ask. Is it better for diet or regular? Let's go find because out. Come the here. Diet Let's go. It works in a big way. Uh, it does. Now, listen. Let you you go there. I'm going to okay. go here because you. That's this is this is the regular. All right. Okay. Can oh, I this move scares me. Oh man, mine's fizzing already. I know it's okay. We're good. All right. So you remember the carbon dioxide is coming out. All right, okay. so uh -oh, this is on top. Mento. You're okay. All right, so turn it over and remember they're going to come rushing to it. So let's do it together. Ready? Three, <laughs> two, one, pull. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Get in the face. Even, mine didn't even fall in. All right, so get out of the way. I'll do this one. No, Ready? Go. So oh, here we go. Three, fine. two, one. This is, now, this is, now that is. <laughs> Awesome! Is that great? Oh, so, here. Yeah, you look great though. You look <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and guess what? I put it all on the website yeah. so a teacher can be amazing to okay. learn about states of matter and gases. And I'm so sorry. Look at you. You're a mess. Oh. You know, part of the fun I do in science is getting to ask those what if questions. For example, we fill a balloon with helium gas because it's lighter than the air that we breathe. And if you breathe it, it makes your voice sound funny. What would happen if we found a gas that was six times heavier than the air we breathe? I wonder what would happen to our voice then. You want to take a look at this video because you'll learn exactly what happens to your voice. That's the weirdest thing. One, two, three, four, five. That, that is really strange. That makes you sound so special, particularly yeah. when you're a big time announcer. You're a big time announcer. And, uh, <laughs> is that true? Oh boy. One way or another. Here, breathe it out. And it's gone that fast. <sighs> it's gone that fast. And one time Fun or another, they've all breathed helium. And so, as a parent, you have to ask yourself the question, you see a lot of stuff on the internet, and it right. says, don't breathe the helium. And so Not good for you, a, dangerous. Yeah, right. So from yeah. a science perspective, I wanted to share something with the uh, the parents at home. Helium itself is an inert gas. It's uh, not poisonous. What really happens is if you breathe it over and over and over again, you start to deprive yourself of oxygen. Oh, so that seems to be the, the real problem. Part, right. So we have to tell the viewers at home, please don't do the experiments that we're doing today. All right. So, okay. uh, and, and in fact, I sought the advice of a doctor who just I asked, we're going to do this and kind of explain the science and, and small dose and so forth. So trained by professionals, don't try it at home. Got it? Okay. All right. All so right. here's how the helium works. So try yours again. Okay. Ready? So, right. so grab okay. that. Okay. Give me a little bit of helium okay. and we'll go for it. Six times lighter than the air that we Should breathe. I do it? Yep. Go for it. Okay, ready? <laughs> Nice I've job. done this forever as a child. There you, you know, go. Particularly okay. at birthday parties, Thank you get a balloon full of helium and Thank you're off you. to the races. Be sure to tip your waitress, we'll be here all week. All right, so, um, <laughs> so this is six times lighter than air, so here's uh -huh. what happens. In your lungs, what happens is it comes out faster, sound travels faster through it, and it causes your vocal cords to vibrate faster. Uh -huh, all right, so six times, heavy, or six times lighter. So I thought, what would happen if you got a gas that was six times heavier? heavier than the air that we breathe. And there's such a so the thing, complete huh? opposite is called sulfur hexafluoride. And it sounds terrible, but it's completely inert, not poisonous. They actually <laughs> sulfur use hexafluoride. It, what? Holy so mackerel. They use it in the electrical uh, business. I guess it uh, it can put out an electrical fire and it keeps things from arcing. So high oh. voltage kinds of things. Oh. So this is sulfur hexafluoride. Ready? So here's what I want you to do. Kind of hold on to it. Extremely pricey. Okay. So there's oh. sulfur hexafluoride. Well, this is an expensive gas. Yeah, you got it. So we'll do this one at a time. Ready? So here's what I want you to do. Breathe okay. out and then breathe in and again six times heavier. Breathe in. Ready? Thank you, Steve. Oh, I see. It makes your voice a lot deeper <laughs> than it previously was, but it's almost like a scary movie. It is a very scary, <laughs> scary movie. Hey, Kim, breathe in yours. Ready? I'm, okay. Wait, I'm, I'm breathe behind Breathe out first, Kim. Okay, breathe out. Breathe out. Oh, breathe out. Breathe, breathe out. out. Now breathe in. 
Keep going. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. Okay. And? I'm supposed to talk now. That Isn't feels that so amazing? weird. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually slows down the vocal cords, all right? So and funny. it doesn't vibrate as much, so sound I doesn't travel. Go for it, ready? Read it out. <laughs> Is it? Well, there we go again. It again, it slows the voice down tremendously. So from Donald Duck to Barry so White, ready? Right? So just blow it out, ready? And we're that there takes, again. Is oh that wow, good? Takes care of it. Yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> breathe I out again, ready? Okay. So if our viewers want to learn something about the science, actually that's put some wild. safety information about the helium and everything else. And again, we tell our viewers, don't try this at home. That's right. people watch our videos, I guess, from all over the place. And so teachers yes, use as them as a training. Yes, we learned with our Mentos experiment. Yes, where sir. Do you, does, so, where do you find? I mean, can, where do I mean, where do you? Is this stuff readily available? I mean, you just... What I had to do is, I knew it was a classic science demonstration. I just had to find uh, an electrical industry and learn a little bit about the, oh, this particular material. Industry, like Check right. it out with the doctor and kind of ask. And again, same type of thing as the That's helium. Wild. But I have never seen it the other way. You know, you're never too young to start learning and exploring and playing with science. These twin four-year-old brothers actually crack the code for these creatures that grow when you put them in water. And who would have ever thought that the secret is actually right here in this baby diaper. Yeah. Okay, what is this? What is um, this guy right here? Um, a dinosaur. Um, what happens when you put that in water? It grows. <laughs> it grows. Now, parents need to know this. There are these small little grow dinosaurs that you'll find at your uh, toy store. And, and a small um, little cute. And that's an alligator. That's exactly right, yes. too. Yeah. I'm not going to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> and uh, so, but these sometimes will get lodged in the throat. And so, swallowing yeah, and so they kind of pulled them away and said, you know what, let's not do that. Let's use bigger ones. So, should we show everybody the big growing creatures? Okay. Oh. So, this is really. Willy the wizard. This is, this yeah. is what is the snake? Yes, yeah, Slither oh. the snake, and who's this? Clyde. Yeah, it's Clyde, Clyde the crocodile. All right, Clyde, so okay. if we put these in water, they'll grow. And so we've been growing them, and we'll show you at the end of the segment what they actually look like. Okay, but so they grow not, just like the small ones. Yeah, though. they do. Oh, and so okay. we're going to show you the secret. Ready? So we've been working on our project to show you the secret. So these went in water a couple days ago, and so we'll show you what it's like. But let's show everybody the secret, all right? The secret is this white powder. So don't tell them just yet. Let's do the experiment, okay? So Scotty, put the white powder in here. What's it called? Polymer. Polymer, that's oh. right. Nice job. Oh, retirement's going to be good. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so Mark, we need some water. Ready? Okay. okay, so now it's time for you guys to do your experiment. So stand up and let's do our experiment. Are you ready? Okay, so pour it in, Mark, and sh let's show everybody. Ready? Here we go. Pour it in. Mm. Three, two, one. Now what are you going to do, Scotty? Put it on Mark's head. Put it on his head. Oh, <laughs> oh but there is no You hard, didn't no do foul. it. It's not a solid. It's a solid. It's oh, a solid. <laughs> that's right. And so what does the polymer do, Mark? What does it do? Sucks up the molecules and, and yeah. grabs it. It sucks up the molecules. You're right. It grabs onto the molecules. <laughs> like right. a sponge. Like a sponge. All right. So watch this though. Let's tell everybody where they can get their polymer. You ready? Where does it come from? A baby's diaper. A baby's diaper. Oh, baby's That's diaper. right. It's a, <gasps> what does Daddy have here? This is a baby's diaper. <laughs> That's right. So do you see how the early childhood teacher is just surrounded by science? Look at this. Oh, yeah. They still believe. That What's so magical about that, this age is they still believe. Yeah. Yes. That, okay. That what is your Buy it. Where I, well, I got a diaper because you don't have it anymore, do we? All right, so we diaper. open it up and we <laughs> yeah, look at. Yeah, I bet at, you went through a few of those, though, didn't look you? Look at this. There's the polymer that's inside oh, the sure baby's enough. diaper. Can we see it inside it's there? It's magic. It looks like magic, doesn't it? So the growing creatures are made out of this, and so this stuff will shrink back down again. If you let the water dry out, it'll shrink back down. Okay, guys, we put these in the water, and they started to grow. We even read a story. Mark, will you show the book there? Because early childhood teachers are amazing at tying literature with uh, with pieces of or the experiments. So this is Zach's alligator, really about a book, uh, a little alligator that grows. And Shirley had no idea, Shirley Moselle, who wrote it, no, had no idea that people were really doing this. A um, gator so in your pocket. You got it. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's slide this over. Okay. Ready? Okay. Are you so guys ready? Three, two, one. How long have these been growing? One, about four days. Ready? Okay. Ta-da! Ta oh, my god! Look at how much bigger oh, he oh is, isn't god. it? Are you ready? Who wants to hold Clyde? Oh, okay, hang on to Clyde. Okay, you hold the snake. Okay, so here, hang on to the Clyde. There you go. There you go. Hang on. Here you go. Oh, there he is. So do you see all these? Look how big they are. Oh, that's okay. Look at this. So here are these huge growing creatures. How much and all we have to do is, is put them in the water. Huh? And the secret is the baby's diaper. And so I kind of put all this stuff on the website so people can learn about the diaper secret. But this is the way to go now with growing creatures. And there's plenty of science. Oh, Count, compare, fun. classify, observe, well, you measure. You guys just did a great <sighs> job, I must tell you. You know, can you, you learned so well from your older brother, Jack. Mm -hmm.
So the table's set and you're just about ready to eat and then it hits you like a ton of bricks. You've got to remove the tablecloth from underneath the dishes because, well, because you can. And you can if you take a couple tips from our good friend Isaac Newton. Yes! All right. So we're going to show you the secret of the classic rip the tablecloth off. And there are some secrets, ready? Okay. But I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult for you as we go on. Of course. Right? So let's do this a couple times. First of all, all right. the secret is the tablecloth. It's not the prettiest tablecloth in the world, but if you look at this, and maybe the camera can see no hem. No, see you've this? taken the hem No out. hem at okay. all. So it's not very pretty, but that's the secret. If you have a hem, it'll catch the edge and it'll tumble. Oh. Got it? So, so that's number one <laughs> secret. Number two, the cheapest dinnerware you can not find. Not the fine china. Right not from the Spangler household. <laughs> right here, people. Okay. All right? Lucky the you're not set. using yeah, the paper stuff. And then uh, the, the third part is inertia, the tendency of an object to stay at rest until a force acts upon it. That's I know like it's early. me getting up in the morning. You got it. Yeah. You, so it I doesn't want to move, and you're going <laughs> to okay. pull this out from underneath it, literally uh, from underneath it. And so what we can do is this, is we can set it up and add a little bit more weight. So we're using heavy things. Try it again. And Ready? I didn't know this about you. You're superstitious. You're setting it up the exact same always way. Do, yeah, time. demonstrators <laughs> always <laughs> do it that way. All right, so you're going to pull straight down. Straight down. Up, up, straight it, down. Not like this. No, 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 just straight down. Ready? Set, go. Nice job. Now listen, I've been working on this. I think you'll be great at this. Right, set it up one last okay. time. And this would be more fun. I mean, everybody can do it that way, but here, let's try it like this. Okay. Ready? All right, so here we go. This is here. Mm -hmm. Got it? All right. Mm -hmm. So three glasses on top. I think that would be cool. All right? <laughs> and a, a little bit of water. So Make it heavier on me. You've got it. Now, all of this now, is on the website. Won't that increase the friction, though, and make it harder for me it's to It's going to increase the inertia, the tendency of the object. And so the friction, we hope that this cloth is pretty good. And, you know, that would be cool, but this would be awesome. All right? <laughs> of so course. if you could do that. Now, wouldn't that be neat? Okay, all right? So, so here we go. All of it's on the website. Don't you want to put anything else on top of that? No, no, no. I, I think you're doing great. Okay, cool. okay, pull straight down like you did before. Drum you roll, make Robert. it. If you miss it, it's going to be on every blooper reel in the world. <laughs> Three, okay. two, one, pull, and the crowd goes All right, wild. Guys. That was nice Thanks, job. Steve. Scientists wear lab coats to keep our clothes clean, just in case there is an accidental spill. Or, or maybe a spill that was on purpose, like this here. Now, don't worry, it's just disappearing ink. And the secret to making disappearing ink disappear is uh, the carbon dioxide in your breath. <sighs> Who would have ever thought that there was even a better way to make the stain disappear? Watch this. <sighs> and here, look at this. This is a biological stain. All right. Okay. So, and so, if by accident this happens, oh, accident. so sorry. Accidentally. See, accidentally. Oh. See, accidentally how it's just a little bit over oh here. Oh <laughs> See how it's changing color? Oh. Love now, it. now here's the problem. Is That's it's, why I got it's to wear the lab back. coat. Look, if you look very carefully, blow on that. Go ahead and blow. It's turning back colorless because there's an acid in the air oh, called carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide will do that. So here, just I just want. If oh gosh. Are you okay? Oh. okay is that good? Now there, there are like common. <laughs> household things like oh this. This goodness. is like a little fire extinguisher. <laughs> See, how, how's that? Is that good? Oh, that is awesome. See? Yeah. I think it's... it's <laughs> See, look, look, I think it's completely gone now. What do you think, Tim? Oh, it feels like it to me. See? Woo! I'll do one of those. So if you ever have I'm a problem a with carbon dioxide, you, don't this worry is about absolutely that. perfect. Is that great? I thought that you'd maybe like that. Right? Oh, great. Kids, don't try this at home. Not at a friend's home. Just leave it to your teacher. Your kid will be just fine. All right? Don't try this at home. All right? Hey, you tell them about the website, and I'll play with this, okay? Okay, go ahead. I don't think I can handle it. No, it's okay. You tell them about the website. You're okay. fine. You're fine. Right. Where's Mark Kobrick when you need him? Tell them about the website. Yeah, that's amazing experience. Uh, by going to the four o'clock angel. 9news.com. You look great. Not. Woo. With okay. the power of carbon dioxide, you are perfectly clean. Look at that. Not a spot on your coat. So these are just a few of the ways that we get kids excited about learning. Join me next time, and I'll show you some more cool science experiments you can try at home, and a few surprises, too. Go, boys. Hey. Oh.